Hello, my name is Mark Smithers, and this is my video lecture, Word Problems Using Rational Equations. Let's read the problem. Sue can wash a car in two hours. John can wash a car in three hours. Working together, how long does it take to wash one car? Okay. So anytime you have these type of equations, usually you're going to be either be figuring out time or rate. Okay, so time over the rate of the number of jobs that it takes uh, will equal the number of complete jobs that I can do. Well, we don't know the time, but we know these two people are going to be working together. Okay, so in other words, if two people work on a job and they don't finish until the job is complete, then the time that it takes to do that job will be the same. Okay, so the time for both of these people is going to equal, uh, we don't know, so it's going to, we're going to let that represented by x. And they're working together, okay, and we know that what, John can do it in three hours and Sue can do it in two hours, so that's x over two. x over 2 and x over 3. They're going to be working together, so that means we add those two. And all that equals 1 because it's one complete job. Okay, so here's our rational equation. What can I do? I can start off by multiplying by the LCD. Okay, so what is my LCD? Look like it's going to be 6. So I need to multiply every term by the LCD, so that would be 6 times x plus 2. Times 6 times x over 3 equals 6 times 1, okay. Well, when I reduce 6 times x over 2, that becomes 3x. 6 times x over 3, that becomes 2x. And 6 times 1 is 6. Okay, so that's just 3x plus 2x equals 6, so that's 5x. Divide both sides by 5, and that will give you x is equal to 6 over 5. Which is the same as 1 and 1 fifth. And if we're speaking in terms of hours, okay, so let's see here. 60 times 1 fifth of an hour. That's 12, so that's 1 hour and 12 minutes. This has been my video lecture about solving equations using rational equations. Okay, and thank you for listening.